today we're going to be making the lemon drizzle top which is a sewing pattern available on my Etsy shop. It is also available as a dress but for today we're going to be focusing on the top. As you can see I went ahead and cut out my bodice pieces and overlocked the edges. Go ahead and pin together the bodice front center with the bodice front side at the sides. Pin. Stitch together and repeat on the other side. Next, take the bodice back center tie with the bodice back side, pin together at the sides, stitch and then repeat on the other pieces. Here you can see me sewing together all of the bodice pieces that I pinned. The little speed up version of my sewing. I wish it was this quick sometimes, but alas, it's not. When you're sewing the front bodice, make sure to follow the curves of the pattern. Next, take the tie with the side, place it on the bodice front, pin together and repeat on the other side. Make sure not to get the ties themselves caught when you're sewing. and press all of the seams that you've just sewn open. If you're having trouble pressing open the seams at the bust, you can also go and make little snips into it, but just make sure that you're not cutting into the stitching line. Once you've finished with the main bodice, stitch together the lining pieces in the same manner following steps 1 to 4. Up until now, these were the same steps as for the dress version of this pattern. However, if you're making the top version, go ahead and press under 1.5 cm on the lower edge of the bodice lining and also on the main fabric. This will help us later when we're assembling the top. Make sure that you're only pressing up on the front bodice pieces, so the bodice center front and the bodice front side. Pressing, make sure you're only pressing up the center front and front side pieces because the rest will need open. Whether you're making the top or the dress version, the next step is making the straps. Grab the two strap pattern pieces, lay them out. Fold in both edges along the fold lines, which are 5mm away from the edge, and press. It's almost as if you were creating a bias tape. So if you wanted, you could also use ready-made bias tape or a piece of ribbon to create the straps for your dress or top. In this case, I'm just using the fabric that I'm using for the top. ahead and did the same on the other strap. Once you're done with that, fold the strap in half and press again. So alas, 
line of stitching close to the edge of the strap and then repeat on the other edge. You can also choose to only sew down one edge. This is a personal preference. Once you're done, you have to cut along the cut line. This is 6 cm away from the end of the strap. This means you will have a 6 cm long piece and another longer piece. Repeat on the other strap. Thread one end of the long strap piece through the slider, fold it over so that the wrong sides are facing each other and stitch a secure seam. Use a small straight stitch and stitch back and forth. This might be a little bit of a struggle, as you can see, for me it is as well. It depends on how thick your fabric is as well. You can also hand sew this if it's easier for you. I'm repeating these steps on the other strap so that it's quicker to sew. <laughs> you've stitched that down slide the ring over the unstitched end of the strap as you can see I didn't have a ring so I just used another slider feel free to do the same bring the unstitched end up towards the slider so that the insides are facing each other thread your strap up and through the slider keep pulling the unstitched end until you end up with a loop As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit because this linen is a bit thick. Repeat this on the other side as well. Now take the short piece and loop it through the ring or the other piece of slider. You can hand stitch this closed or just pin it for now. Take your main bodice piece and line up the open end of the strap with the notch on the front side. Pin in place. Then take the short bit of the strap and place it on the seam between the back side and back center pieces with right sides together. Make sure that these aren't turned around. suggest basting these in place and then trying on the top to see whether you need to adjust the length or not. Here 
here I'm just adding the other strap to the other side. Now grab your lining piece and then lay the lining piece and the main bodice piece on top of each other with right sides facing, so pretty side to pretty side. Pin the lining to the bodice at the top and the sides and stitch in place. Be careful when you're pinning and make sure that you're lining up all of the seams so that when you turn it inside out it lies really nicely. Go ahead and pin the bow tie close as well, leaving the bottom of the front bodice open where we pressed up earlier because we're going to need that hole to turn the top inside out when we're done sewing. Now go ahead and take this to your sewing machine and stitch all the way around except for the opening where we didn't pin it closed. Once you've finished sewing, take your bodice piece and trim the seam allowance. You can trim the corner so that when you're turning it inside out they're lying nice and flat. As you can see I went all around and trimmed the seam allowance so that it would be easier when turning it inside out. Make sure that you're giving those corners an extra little tug. You can use a safety pin or a needle, something to pull them out a little bit better. Once you've turned your top right side out, you can go ahead and pin the opening closed. It will be easy because we've already pressed up one side by 1.5 centimeters, which is the seam allowance, so you just have to match the other side to that. Once you have pinned that in place, go ahead and top stitch all around the top. When you're top stitching around the top, try to make sure that you're not pulling it so that the fabric stays in place. If you've interfaced it beforehand, this shouldn't be a problem, but in this case, because it's a linen top, I didn't really want to add bulk to it, so just make sure that you're uh, careful. Once you're done with sewing, cut off any excess thread and then go around pressing the top so that it lays nice and flat. Give yourself a little round of applause because you're done! Your new lemon drizzle top is ready for its first outing. This pattern also has a dress version. So if you're interested, check it out on my Etsy shop, along with all of my other patterns. Thank you for watching!